Hey Internet, so uh, I have been in a tremendous amount of pain since my surgery. It was not unexpected to be in uh, some amount of pain for some amount of time. After all, it was a nerve surgery where nerves were literally cut, um, but neither I nor my surgeon expected the pain would be uh, this intense or that it would last uh, this long. Like I said, this was a surgery where nerves were cut. Now, in the video I made before the surgery, I was explaining to you guys uh, the surgery more in the context of the neuroma, that is the nerve tumor that existed at the end of my sciatic nerve right here where my leg was cut off. That neuroma turned out to be uh, about the size of a, of a peach pit. It was pretty large. In fact, it was even larger than we expected it to be. In that video, though, I didn't explain that much about the second part of the operation, the targeted muscle reinnervation, which will hopefully in the long run uh, not only prevent neuromas from forming again, but uh, cure phantom pain for me. Now, targeted muscle reinnervation, or TMR for short, is really fascinating. I will explain it with, of course, a metaphor. Uh, I'll start with a metaphor that I used before about phantom pain. Phantom pain, you can think of it like this. Your brain is the security room in a large building. There's a bunch of TVs connecting to security cameras throughout the building. Uh, a heist is happening. The heisters come in through the back door. They come into the back hallway and they snip the cord in the camera. And thus, in the security room, the security guard sees static coming on that screen because there's no longer any uh, sort of input coming through that camera. Now, your brain in this case is the security room. Every part of your body is one of those security cameras connected to a monitor in the room. And when you lose a body part, you're severing the nerve and thus the brain signal becomes static like that TV screen. And your brain receiving that static that is a non-signal from a leg, in my case, translates it as pain. Okay, so what's TMR? TMR borrows another page from the heist playbook. And basically it's like in a heist when uh, <laughs> there, let's say our heisters are coming through the back hallway, but there's also a front hallway that happens to look pretty similar. And so our, uh, our computer genius person, you know, the one who's in the truck, like I'm tapped into the mainframe. Uh, that guy, let's say uh, he's found a way to uh, to sneak into the building and when they cut the camera feed for the back hallway, they take that cord and they fuse it to the camera in the front hallway. So now there's signal on that TV feed. Now it's the wrong signal, so to speak. It's the front hallway, not the back hallway. But if the security guy is kind of dozing off or he's, I don't know, flipping through Bumble on his phone or whatever, he might not notice that the signal is different and thus he will not be upset about it. Now this is exactly what TMR is. Taking that loose end, in this case my sciatic nerve, and uh, attaching that nerve into another nerve that is working, that is connected to something in my body, with the idea that my brain will then get signal through the sciatic nerve. It's the wrong signal, but it will be a signal, and hopefully my brain will no longer give me phantom pain as a result. Now in my case, Dr. Dumanian took the end of my sciatic nerve and he sliced the end into two parts. He bifurcated it and he attached one end of the nerve uh, to one of the motor neurons going into uh, one part of my glute. And then he attached the other piece to a motor neuron going into the other part of my glute. Like he literally just like sewed these nerves together. So what happens over time, hopefully, is that those nerves now grow together and my brain remaps or rewires these connections and it interprets the signal coming from my glute as signal coming from my leg. And vice versa, if it's a motor neuron, let's say it, uh, it, 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 if it wants to send a message to my non-existent leg, it will actually send it to my glute. So a fun side effect that if the surgery works, it is very possible that say six months from now, if I want to flex or wiggle the foot in my phantom leg, I might in fact flex my glute. Like I might, <laughs> like my butt might move when I try to wiggle the toes 
in my phantom leg. But right now we are just waiting for that connection to be created. To use another metaphor, it's kind of like when you turn on your new Bluetooth device and you turn it to pairing mode and then you pull up your phone and you look and you open the Bluetooth menu and you're waiting and where, you're like, where's the device? And it hasn't shown up yet. And you get nervous. You're like, did I do it wrong? What is it going to ever show up? And you start to get stressed out. Maybe my Bluetooth device is broken. And then finally it shows up and they're paired and now they can communicate to each other. Right now, I am in pairing mode. I'm waiting for my brain to make the connection to this Bluetooth device, to find it, so to speak, through this new neural pathway, make that connection and be able to communicate with it. TMR is always a short-term pain for long-term gain proposition. That is, in the short term, uh, I will actually experience more phantom pain and a tremendous amount of nerve pain in this area because of the nerve manipulation, with the hope that in the long run, I actually end up feeling better. Now, to be honest, I actually feel a lot more pain right now and in the past couple weeks than I did after the amputation itself 25 years ago. Now, part of that probably is because if you are a child and you have cancer and you have an amputation of your leg, they give you the best pain meds. Like they go to the top shelf and that's what they give you. If you are an adult and you have plastic surgery, they start you with Tylenol. Uh, literally, I started with Tylenol and they work you up from there. Uh, and yes, you did hear me right when I said plastic surgery. This was plastic surgery. A lot of times, of course, we think of plastic surgery in terms of cosmetic procedures or elective procedures to change your appearance. Uh, plastic surgery, in fact, includes those things, but plastic surgery is any kind of construction or reconstruction in the body. In this case, it was the uh, reconstruction of these nerves. So this was plastic surgery, and I did have a plastic surgeon, which means uh, that... <laughs> Technically, I could tell people, if they asked me about my surgery, that I hired a plastic surgeon to give me a butt job. Anyway, as I mentioned, I am in a ton of pain. Even sitting like this is pretty hard. I actually haven't sat much in the past couple weeks because that puts pressure here. Uh, standing is painful. Lying on my back is painful. I have probably slept an average of three hours a night since the operation. There have been nights when I literally have not slept at all. I can't um, read or watch Netflix because uh, the pain is so intense, like I can't concentrate on anything. And it is a miserable feeling to just be watching the clock, knowing how many hours there are until your next dose of meds, uh, knowing that in between now and then you will not only uh, not be able to find anything to distract you from the pain, but you will continue uh, to feel that level of pain, if not more pain. Too real? Too much information there? I don't know. It's been rough even just this week. I've been in the emergency room twice uh, with complications related to the surgery. This week, our car was involved in a collision with a moving subway train. Fortunately, no humans were injured, but our car does need quite a bit of plastic surgery. Uh, the good news I'll finish by saying is that I haven't had to do any of this alone. Uh, my brother Luke has been here. He's staying in this bedroom. That's why the bed is uh, set out. But also Ashley, my wife, has been here every step of the way. She has been strong when I have felt exhausted. Uh, she has been cheerful when I have felt downhearted. And I feel so lucky uh, to have found my person, for better, for worse, uh, in sickness and in health. So I look forward to returning to that last part, the health part. <laughs> uh, until then, just waiting for that Bluetooth signal, that connection to happen, uh, which, according to my surgeon, it could take um, a number of more weeks from now. If you're a praying person, please pray for me. If not, send me good energy or good vibes or... Uh, good memes or good gifs in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We should hang out sometime.